I also just have an obsession with like spicy foods, if it's not evidence. <laughs> I looked at the Chili's logo for a very long time to like make sure that when my friend drew this for me that it would not look like the Chili's logo. Hi, my name is Kathy Chen. I'm from Wenwen, and I'm here to make chili oil brown butter noodles today. So the first step is to make our chili oil brown butter. We're gonna start with this jar of ghee. It's like butter, but it's butter after you take the milk solids out, so you're only left with like the butter fats. And now we're just gonna cut some aromatics to put in it. I generally do about five scallions, just the whites, and then a couple cloves of garlic. I'm also gonna throw in the Sichuan peppercorns right now. Yeah. I prefer green ones. They just have kind of like more floral notes and a little more numbing sensation. They kind of taste better than red ones, I think. There's just like more flavor in each of them. But also because ghee is like um, a higher smoke point, you can do a pour over chili oil with it, but just ultimately you get more flavors in a chili oil if you do like a simmering version where you simmer most of the ingredients beforehand. Let's also add some Thai chilies. And then we'll just let that go for a bit. I just wait till things kind of like brown up a bit, things toast up a little. So while this is going, we should probably toast milk powder. So milk powder is basically dehydrated milk. So when you have butter, this, there are milk solids in it and milk powder can kind of replace the milk solids. So you can add act like the milk flavor and make it like kind of actual butter again. This only takes a few minutes, but it happens like really slowly then really fast. And if you're gonna add back milk powder, you may as well toast it because it will just, it's just gonna taste a little better. It's kinda gonna look like uh, graham cracker crumbs. When I did this in like my house, when I was first like making this recipe, I would like toast it and I would leave it in like a little bowl in my kitchen. My roommate just thought I had like crushed up graham cracker crumbs just constantly. My parents own a restaurant back in Maryland, so I worked there like a lot. So I guess I grew up in a restaurant and then I worked at Windsun for a little bit actually. And then I left because of COVID. And then while I was like sitting in my room in Maryland waiting for, you know, a pandemic to end, Eric Z DM'd me on Instagram and said, I'd like to offer you a job. And then he made me a chef. It was kind of crazy. Um, I was like very, very confused. I didn't even know he was like offering me like a head chef position. And this you kind of have to be careful of burning. It's kind of like the same idea, I think, when you do brown butter normally, like, you know, the milk part burns. <laughs> rather easily. So when it's like golden brown, slightly past golden brown maybe, it's probably good to go. And it's gonna clump, but we're gonna like blend it into the chili oil later. Yeah, so we've got some like browning on the garlic, some browning on the scallions. I'm gonna turn the heat off. I'm just gonna add a little bit of Sichuan chili flake while it's still hot. They add really nice color, really nice flavor. The tingling sensation that you're gonna get from this is just gonna come from the Sichuan peppercorns. The chili flake itself is just like heat. There are like a couple of really great things you can do with this. One of them being mac and cheese, the other being toast, the third being a chili oil noodle. The ghee is all like infused with everything and all the aromatics are toasted. We're gonna just blend it. Kind of just look at it, make sure like everything's like properly broken up. We're gonna cool down the butter. If you just put it straight into the fridge, it kind of is gonna let all the aromatics and chilies and everything sink to the bottom. If you do it like this, basically, it's gonna cool down while you're moving everything, and it's gonna set more like a compound butter rather than a chili oil. Theoretically, this should be like stable at room temperature. I say that, the take that with like a grain of salt. I don't do it just because I'm uneasy leaving things out at room temperature, but theoretically, because the ghee is shelf stable, milk powder is shelf stable, and all of these aromatics are in like oil. So theoretically, this should be, but I would not quote me on that. But yeah, it'll start setting up like kind of around the sides, and then you'll just kind of like mix it back in. But yeah, so I feel like that's pretty good. Now we're just gonna make the steak, let it rest. I'll finish this with like the chili oil butter so that it's kind of like in every aspect of the dish. The noodle part is actually based off of the not so secret secret menu item at 886, the dry beef fat chili noodle, where we do like um, a chili oil made with beef fat that we toss into noodles. So this part is kind of like an homage to that flash directly stolen from that. But you know, Eric gave me permission prior to this. If I overcook this, you know, it is what it is. It's gonna rest. 
it's not the world's greatest cooked steak, but you know, we're gonna put a little bit of butter on it as it rests. These are actually just the noodles that we serve at 886 and 11. These are our thick cut noodles. You can definitely use any type of noodle. This is just kind of like what I had easy access to. I've done this with like ramen noodles and it's really, really good. Uh, because they're thicker, they're like slightly chewier. So it'll be like, you know, cooking a, a pasta al dente and like finishing in sauce pretty much. While that's cooking, we can kind of cut some garnishes maybe. Cilantro, scallions, and Thai basil. You want to go with like kind of strong herbs just because it kind of balances out the butter notes. I'm gonna save this little purple leaf. We'll put it on top. Food should be cute. The noodles will be done pretty soon, so we want to have the sauce basically like ready so we can just throw it in there. We're gonna add a little bit of soy sauce. This is shallot sauce. It's kind of like shallots and oil and like soy sauce. It's like very salty, very oniony, a little bit sweet. It's really nice. We're gonna do a little bit of sugar and then a tiny bit of MSG, monosodium glutamate, because it's good in everything. This is like, right now it's soy sauce and shallot sauce, like sugar MSG, so it's very like salty, sweet, but then we're gonna add kind of like the butter at the end and finish it, and it's gonna give us like buttery and spice, and then we'll finish it with like a little bit of black vinegar, and that's kind of gonna bring it all together, round out all the notes. Let the noodles finish cooking in it a little bit. I feel like chili oil noodles are in general are just something you can eat on their own very much. Um, I will say with this one, since there's all this added like butter that's gonna be in it, it's nice to have all the herbs that we're gonna have on top to kind of cut through that a little bit. And then the steak is kind of just to make it more of a complete meal, more of a whole dish. Just to add a little more pasta water because it's gonna thicken the sauce, kind of help when the butter gets added in, kind of let everything cling to everything. And we'll add a healthy scoop of butter. And this is like one of the reasons why it's important to have the butter cold because if you have it just like room temp or like just solidified, it kind of just melts too quickly and instead of emulsifying, you just kind of get a lot more just like oiliness. That probably looks pretty good. Gonna kill the heat, and then we're gonna add just a little bit of black vinegar. We don't add it earlier because it kind of like cooks out the flavor if you do. I'm just gonna toss it in, mix it in. And then we're gonna see if I overcook this. It's no whole deboned BDSM chicken, deboned in four minutes and 35 seconds, but this is my elevated college meal. So now we're just gonna play the dish. This is, we have all the components ready. We're gonna wanna fold them just a little. Fold them like you work at a ramen shop, I guess. <laughs> fold them up and then kind of like bring them down, fold them a little, but do a slightly better job than I'm doing. Kind of cilantro on one side, a little bit of Thai basil. So something like that. Brown butter, chili oil noodles. <laughs> All right, it's actually really good. It's spicy, uh, it's salty, it's a little bit sweet. You really get the butter notes at the end and kind of like the toastiness from the milk powder. And the herbs really like kind of just help balance it all out. So for the recipe, please click the link below or visit me at 1-1 where I probably won't make this for you, but we'll make a lot of really, really good things.